Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Dr. Nikshan. Today I'm going to show you how we can use OpenAI to do the document understanding. Okay. For example, just consider uh, you have a document, right? Just uh, consider like a uh, CV you have. You want to extract the name of the employee. You want to extract the history. You want to extract the phone number, email ID. Like that, a different uh, data you have to collect from uh, the CV, right? So as you know, like uh, the applicants may be preparing their CV in different different format, right? Uh, it it will be different uh, based on how uh, they are creating their CV and what data they are going to enter, right? So um, usually, what we'll be doing if you're going with your path, uh, there is an option of document understanding where we can train our model and we can uh, use that model to extract the data from the CV, right? Uh, so today I'm going to show you how you can use open AI to generate this data from the CV that uh, you are going to share to your um, HR or to the recruiter, right? So uh, for this uh, example, um, I'm, I'm going to uh, take uh, three profiles, okay, that I downloaded from uh, some website, okay? So uh, I'm going to show you how you can extract the data from uh, of, uh, this CV using the open AI. Right. So, uh, in this uh, demo project that I already created, uh, I made a connection to OpenAI and uh, I provided some prompt to OpenAI to extract the data from the CV. Okay, and it it is going to extract the name of the applicant and uh, uh, the job or the job history of the applicant as well as the current uh, location as well as the phone number of that particular applicant. Right. So, this kind of automation will be helpful for the recruiters too get the data from the cv okay so just consider a recruiter is uh, uh, looking for some uh, uh, candidate and uh, for that particular profile he uh, or she received around 10 profiles right so in order to check the history of uh, uh, the candidate it is very difficult for that particular hr or recruiter to go through each profile right so it will be very difficult so what we can do we can use this open ai uh, connectivity to extract the data and we can directly write that to an excel sheet as well okay but in this demo i haven't uh, made uh, a writing to the excel sheet but instead uh, i'm showing those details in the uh, message box right so uh, let me execute this and after this execution i will uh, recreate this entire flow from the uh, basic okay so uh, the profile that i used here is Okay, so these are the uh, uh, profiles that I have used. So one is uh, uh, Jason Miller and he's an Amazon associate. And next profile is Robert Cooper and he's a security guard and he's from this particular low Angeles, And he is having some phone number, right? And uh, uh, this is Michelle Lopez and she's a fashion designer, right? And uh, her phone number, some details are also available here. So we need to extract these details from these profiles, right? So let me execute this. Okay, it is uh, taking some time. So it is uh, reading the PDF and uh, using the read PDF activity, it uh, read the PDF. And here you can see name of the applicant is Michelle Lopez and what is the place of birth is San Antonio. And the employment history also it captured from the CV and phone number also you can see. So let me click on OK. Okay, then for the next profile we can see name of applicant, the place of birth is in, uh, in uh, San Antonio and employment history also it has captured and phone number, right? And uh, next one, yeah. Name of applicant Jason Miller and place of birth, employment history, and uh, phone number it has uh, uh, captured. So, um, how these data are extracted? So, as we all know, like Open AI, uh, it's a model like uh, uh, where we can give the prompt and it will give us the output, right? So, it is using the generative AI technology. So, whatever the prompt that we are going to give to Open AI, it will read or it will understand that prompt that user is feeding and it will generate the data for us right so here we are giving the prompt as um, uh, the requirement from us like we need to capture the uh, mobile number we need to capture the name of applicant we need to capture uh, the history of that applicant from the 
CV, right? So that is the data that I have passed and OpenAI is capturing all this data for us, right? So this is very easy, like we can directly use the OpenAI model and we can uh, directly fetch the data. So wherever this data is coming, OpenAI is having the capability of generating that uh, data using the AI, using Gen AI, right? So let me do one thing. Let me recreate this entire process. So for that, let me put a project. Okay, let me add a new sequence. Okay, let me give you name like Gen AI. Okay, what is the problem? Add sequence. Okay, not enough memory for the input to complete. Okay. Let me try again, otherwise, if it is not working, then I will create a new project. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting some error. So let me do one thing. Uh let me create a new project. Okay. So let me give it like uh, Gen AI, Gen AI, Open AI. Okay, that's it. So, what is the step? Like, uh, I have some uh, list of files, right? So, uh, this many list of files are there. So, I need to extract uh, uh, these. Uh, first, I need to loop through these files and I need to read the files, right? So let me do one thing. First, I need to loop through these files, right? For that, I we have to use for each file in folder, right? So let's do one by one, and I will show you how you can recreate this uh, automation process. Okay, so generative AI, like those who have displayed generative AI, that is an emergent technology. Like uh, users can give the prompt, and the AI model can understand our requirement. And it can either generate new data for us, or if you are feeding some data, it can understand the data and provide you the valuable information from that feeded data. Okay, so that is a benefit of uh, generating AI. And the accuracy of output totally depends on how you are giving the prompt. Prompt is nothing but the input that you are uh, providing to the model, right? So let me click on open main workflow. Let me go to activity for each okay for each file in folder okay and what's the path let me give it okay so here only i put the path uh, files okay then what's next for each file what i need to do i need to read it right so let me use read pdf uh, okay so read pdf activity is not there so what i have to do let me go to manage package alt package Okay, PDF. Report PDF activity in some. Okay, so similarly, we have to install the OpenAI uh, packages, right? So in this automation, I'm going to use OpenAI. Uh, so let me search for OpenAI. OpenAI. Okay, set. Okay, so that is done. So what I'm going to do is let me click on this plus button. Let me search for read PDF. Okay, read PDF with OCR as well as read PDF for test user. I'm going to read PDF test. Okay, what is the file? I have to use current file, right? Current file dot full name. Because this particular field will accept only string variable, so I converted this current file to uh, see, using dot full name. Okay. Uh, now what we have to do? It will give some output, right? So where I can get the output? Here I can get the output. So let me keep it like extractor data. Okay. Then what's the next step? I need to pass this value to the prompt of OpenAI, and I need to tell OpenAI. To capture the needed data from that particular input, right? Uh, so let me do one thing. 
let me search for open ai yeah open ai is there so what i'm going to do i need to use test completion so let me drag and drop this activity okay so uh, in my case i already made a connection to open ai in uh, one of my uh, previous demo okay in august i already have this integration in the integration service okay that's why it is uh, by default it is making a connection to open ai so if you haven't make a connection means you can make a connection in uh, integration service in uh, orchestrator then you can uh, select the uh, connection uh, over here okay then we have to provide the correct prompt right correct prompt to the system so i already uh, created uh, that prompt here so what is the uh, prompt extract the correct name of applicant place of birth employment history and phone number from the input data right input data is nothing but the data that uh, we read from each pdf right so let me copy this let me go here let me replace this okay and uh, instead of that what is the variable that we created extracted data right and uh, if you go to the property here the model we are using is a uh, uh, text davinci 001 that is one of the uh, latest model from openai we have advanced model also but it is not available here right and uh, what would be the response here i am going to create a response a response dt here i'm going to give top result okay so that's it now what i'm going to do is uh let me try to print this data so let me use write right line activity okay it should be response dt right response dt dot to dt dot this okay let me copy paste it again and here what is that top result dot to see right so instead of right line uh, let me use message box a better message box okay let me try to execute It is a compiling. Let it start the execution. So here, what is happening is it it will look through each uh, PDF file or CV and it will read that uh, CV using read PDF and we are feeding that data to the prompt of OpenAI uh, test extraction activity. All right. So uh, we are giving the condition like extract the name. So here we can see name of applicant is. Michelle Lopez, place of birth, employment history, it is providing, phone number also it is providing. And here we can see some unwanted data also, Spanish or basic. So uh, it's like how we are giving the prompt, right? If you if you are again modifying this prompt, it will uh, just remove this data and it will give it. Or um, just consider like if you are getting this data and you want to get particular items, you can just use some rejects or string manipulation for extracting this data, right? You don't need to create any separate model for fetching on this detail. Can just pass the uh, entire data to uh, OpenAI activity and tell uh, the model to extract the data for you. Right? So click on OK. Okay. Here again, we can see it has extracted all the history, name, place of birth, everything. Okay. And here also you can see name of applicant, place of birth, employment history, phone number. Just that's right, right? So uh, it's very easy to create automations based on this kind of uh, model. Or uh, if you have some generic models, you can actually integrate that as well with the AI part. So what you can do, you can just give the proper prompt to the uh, AI model and to tell the model to extract the uh, response for you, right? Um, so I hope you got a clear understanding like how you can use uh, this OpenAI integration to do the document understanding. 
uh, by passing the proper prompt to OpenAI activity. Right. So if you find this video useful, please like the video, please share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.